Would you like to take an ordinary rocket and make it look extraordinary? I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Today I'm going to show you a vacuum-formed canopy that mold is molded to fit on a nose cone. And when you put this on your rocket, it's going to make it look radically different. Uh, this is what it looks like when it's uh, cut out. And this is a rocket. This is kind of a typical rocket, and it will fit right on the nose cone like that, giving the rocket a radically different look. Now it looks kind of like a jet fighter. So to use these, uh, it comes like this. And we're just going to cut it out with a hobby knife. And you should always wear your safety glasses when you're cutting things with a hobby knife. Um, we're not going to cut all the way through. We're only going to score. Um, and we don't have to do, do score hard. Just score light. And just follow the curvature of the canopy. Now these are made out of, uh, <laughs> I've got a blooper reel where I drop things and we're building that so that's what that was all about. Well we, uh, these are made out of uh, vacuum form styrene and what happens is when you bend it along that score line that you just made it will crack. And so you just kind of wiggle it back and forth and that's why you don't need to score all the way through. Now, right here, my score line is a little bit too high, so here I'm going to rescore it, but I'm going to cut a little bit deeper because I want to make sure that it follows right there. I don't know if you can see that, it's very, very hard to see. Um, this is what happens when you make a little mistake. It's, it's fixable. Don't worry about it. Just carefully eyeball it. Everywhere else I'm pretty happy with it. It's better to go a little bit wider than to go a little bit too shallow. All right, so there it is, cut out. Um, and then you can take some sandpaper, and here's I got some medium grit sandpaper, and just kind of sand off the edge a little bit, kind of evening it out. See, this is that one little area. I'm just going to sand it so that it matches. And it is designed to fit the PNC56A, which is an Apogee nose cone. Um, and when you uh, put it onto the nose cone, um, the tail end kind of goes near here where the shoulder meets the uh, tube. Um, it's going to be glued on just like that. And to glue it on, you just take some thick super glue. run it on the inside you can also use plastic model cement if you don't have super glue this is styrene and the nose cone is also styrene so plastic model cement will will bond them pretty good and you can see I glued it to my hand Needs a little bit too much glue. 
Okay, and then I, I typically I like to put it along the seam because I can I know that that seam is nice and straight. So I'm just lining up the back edge right here with the seam, and then the the tip right there, and just kind of pressing it down. And if any super glue oozes out, you just wipe it off. And presto changeo, now our nose cone looks completely different. Um, if you um, have a little bit, little gap or anywhere in the, around the perimeter, um, you can just use a little bit of uh, filler putty to fill that out and just sand it off and it blends in really nice with the nose cone. And as you can see, you can take a, a rocket like this. This is a, a Dynastar Orion rocket. And you know, just adding the nose cone or adding the canopy changes the look completely. And you're probably thinking, does this change the way the rocket flies? Not so much. Um, because it's so streamlined, it's so low aerodynamic drag that it doesn't really affect the rocket at all. And you've probably seen a lot of the old style rockets from Estes that had a little bulb on the nose cone for a canopy. And these are fine. They do fly straight. Um, if you're concerned about it, just throw a little bit of nose weight into the nose cone and the rocket will do just fine. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. If you like this video, uh, somewhere down here on YouTube, there's a subscribe button. Go ahead and click the subscribe and the like and come visit us on Facebook and on our website at www.apogeerockets.com. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, may all your rockets fly straight and true.